Hey, Plotter Pals, I'm Cameron Sutter, one of the creators of Plotter. Do you know what I'm thankful for this week? There's a new version of the Plotter mobile apps that is a huge upgrade. Now it'll be much easier to outline your stories on the go. This version introduces dark mode, which has been one of our top requests for a long time. There's also a new full screen text editor that makes writing and editing your notes on mobile much more enjoyable. This release also has some great timeline improvements that make it easy to move around your scenes on tablet devices. And it's faster and more reliable than it's ever been. I'm excited to show you how it works. So here we are in the dashboard of the Plotter mobile app on an iPad. And to switch to dark mode, all you have to do is open the sidebar with the button that's the three little bars here at the top. And you'll see there's an option most of the way down. The last option on the list there is to switch to dark theme. So if we click that, then you see it in dark mode. And I'm going to open the Three Little Pigs project to show you how all the tabs look in this dark mode. So here we go. Here's the timeline in dark mode. Here's what the project tab looks like in dark mode. Here's our outline. Here's our notes tab. Here's our characters. Here's our places. And here's our tags. The next thing I want to show you is the improvements to the timeline, which is only available on tablet devices. First of all, it's so much easier to scroll and to see your whole story. Whereas before, sometimes that was a little choppy or a little difficult to scroll. But we've made that so much more responsive. You also have these big buttons on the side to add new chapters, to add new plot lines. And it's so much easier for you to move around the scene cards. So now you have the option at the top right of any one of these scene cards. There's a little move icon. So if I click that, I'm going to click this one, this make house out of sticks. And it gives me the option to either just move it directly to one of the chapters or I can choose. So first I'm going to choose one of the chapters. We'll just say chapter three, which is the next one. And which plot line do I want to send it to is pick one. And it's easy as that. This time I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to click the let me choose option. So when I click that button in the top right corner of that same scene card, I'm going to choose the let me choose option. And when I do that, there is a, a card that pops up in every position an option that pops up in every position that says move here. Now, if you tap any one of those, the card will move there. So you can either tap uh, where there is no card. So if I were to move it back to that one, all those disappear. And that card that you selected moves there. Or you can also stack scene cards doing this. So I'm going to click that top right move icon again and let me choose. And I want to stack it under this one, the one that the orange one below it that leaves home. So I'm going to click the move here. And there we go. It stacks it. So now I'm going to move that one back. So let me choose. The options are there again. So I move it. I click where I want it to and there it's moved. So the timeline is so much easier to navigate and to use now. The next thing I want to show you is the full screen text editor. To do that, I'm going to open up one of these cards and click on the description. And when I do, I get a full screen editor to type all my scene notes. You'll notice here at the bottom, there's a new formatting bar. So if I start typing things right here and then I highlight it, I can easily tap those buttons to make it bold, underlined, strike through, and so forth. I can make lists easily. I'll show you it works for a character as well. So if I were to edit this character and pull up his notes, I could also do the same thing. I'll highlight brother here and then make that bold with the formatting bar there. The new full screen text editor allows you to easily create, edit, and see all of your content, whether you're working on a character, a place, or a scene. And lastly, the whole app has been re-engineered to make it faster and more responsive than it's ever been before. So that's our latest release for the Plotter mobile apps. We hope you're thankful for it too. 
Please tell us what you think in the comments and stay tuned for more updates.